Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going through how I use symbols to create a pattern template. This way you can get a good idea of how your pattern is repeating and fix any mistakes before you go to upload it on places like Spoonflower or any of the other print on demand sites. So change your color mode to whichever you would like, either RGB or CMYK. I will change my width to a thousand and then my height is a thousand. DPI I want to change to 300 and then I'm just going to click create artboard and OK. I'm just going to shrink this down so I can get a good idea of the entire document. So once that's scaled down, go up to the top. It looks like the piece of paper with the three dots. Click artboard and then just draw a new rectangle or square. The size doesn't have to be perfect. And then go into your transform panel, which is the one on the bottom right with the dotted line. And in the dimensions, I just like to make sure I can evenly put in the symbols from artboard number one. So I'm just going to do 4,000 by 4,000. And with the move tool, I'm just going to make those closer together. And there you go. Now the next thing I want to do is grab a rectangle. Do it as closely as you can on the size to artboard number one. You can always go into your transform panel and fix that. So once again, 1000 by 1000. Click alignment options and you can align horizontally and then vertically. To be able to see this a bit better, I'm just going to change that color. Close to halfway down that right toolbar, I'm going to select the symbols tool which is kind of that round one with the lines going through it. You will see that it pops up if you click the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines, click add symbol from selection. So now you have created a symbol with that background. I'm going to go into my layers, make sure that you have the symbol selected and then hold down to copy. I'm going to go into artboard two, hold down, and paste. Now duplicate this so that it fills up your second artboard. If you're not sure how to make multiple selections, if you open up that layers, you can just swipe from left to right. Okay, so now you have the beginning of your template. I'm just gonna go back in to artboard number one. In your layers panel, go into Artboard one only, select your symbol, drop down again, hit that rectangle. Make all of your changes to this rectangle or slightly above it, just make sure not to go above the symbol. So for example, if I wanna change this color, you will see that it has updated to the artboard number two. And now you can start to create your pattern. I'm going to select the star tool Change this color. And I'm going to place this over to the side and then copy, paste, back over to your transform panel. I want to take this to the other side so in your X, go plus 1000 and OK. I'm going to duplicate this star. In the Y, I'm going to minus 1000. And if you are wondering how to create patterns, I will leave a link in the top right. You should see an I, and I'll leave how to make patterns. I'm just going to go in and add a few little dots.
And if you zoom back out, you will see you now have a repeating pattern and you can check it before sending it off to any of the print on demand sites or saving it for your collection or saving it for your portfolio. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Thank you.